What is up everyone, Granolas here with another Norse Tower Defense video. Today's video we're going to talk about the new event, about the magic wheel. I'm going to talk about the roulette and my strategy for this. And I'm, I'm going to explain to you guys, at least I'll try, why I'm doing this. And more info in the description probably down below. So basically my strategy is to actually place one coin bids every single spin until I have six out of the nine or seven out of the nine spots actually with the same color or same crown and the reason for that is I want to maximize my bet in order to actually have as many vouchers as possible so what I'm doing with this is actually gonna spin it as many times as I can until I have at least six or seven and then I'm gonna save coins until I'm I have enough I don't know the number yet to be honest but then gonna place big bet on whatever color or whatever crown that I have that actually has seven out of the nine or six out of the nine and then gonna place the bid and the reason for that I want to actually have as much power as possible now I'm I'm looking forward to actually having six crowns but I'm still gonna bet on the crown because the chances for me on getting a crown is higher than anything else always make sure that your I don't know, your roulette, your wheel has the biggest opportunity for what you're placing your bids in. For example, I would have placed my bid over the crowns, then on the red, and only later on on the blue. Not to mention that you also have the odd and even, so even the I'm gonna place my even bet even higher than the blue one. And the reason for that is also between the chances. Now, don't forget that as you can see over here we have 2x, 4x and 8x that's why I want to aim for the lucky crown and if not if I have only 6 of the same color then that's fine by me as well I'm gonna place my big bet over that so let's spin it 3 times until I have it or at least 6 of them and if it's gonna land on the crown that's fine with me as well cause I get 8 times as you can see over here so I won this one and I got another red one. So I'm gonna change my bet to the red and actually spin it. And it's not bad at all because I still won my bet. And once again, I won this one. So it's still the same for me. Over here, for example, right now, if you look at the table, the best thing to do for me is actually bet on the odd. But I don't want to bet on the odd because I want to get as many, as many vouchers as possible. But keep that in mind. As you can see over here, I failed with this one. Now I'm hoping for getting the crown, and as you can see, I got it. So that's the way I'm gonna work until I have six out of the nine or seven out of the nine. And whenever I do have both of them, I'm just gonna spin all in on whatever thing that happened with the six or the seven. And hopefully I'm gonna get as many vouchers as possible. That's the way I'm gonna win this one. If you want to learn more about the mess behind this one, or why I'm thinking this way I'm gonna write a bit on the over the description and if you have more questions feel free to comment down below don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel and thank you all for listening